Welcome to the final lesson of this ANSYS Innovation course. In our previous lesson, we recapped all the topics we have covered so far. We delved into chip manufacturing processes, packaging and testing which are crucial for developing reliable chips for electronic devices. In this lesson, we will explore some advanced topics such as technology node evolution and its significant implications. We will also introduce you to the 3D IC architecture and its more than more potentials. Furthermore, we will understand the need to address thermal challenges and their impact on power integrity due to technology node shrinking and architectural advancements. We often hear about the latest chips and processors associated with the term nanometer, such as 10 nanometer, 5 nanometer, 3 nanometer, etc. But what does this nanometer mean and why is it significant in chip technology? Nanometer is a unit of length used to measure extremely small objects. It is one billionth of a meter. To visualize this, consider the strand of a human hair, one of the smallest things visible to the naked eye. The diameter of a human hair is about 100 micrometer or say 100,000 nanometer. A bacterium is a hundred times smaller than this, that is 1000 nanometers. A DNA molecule is even 1000 times smaller than a bacterium. That is the order of a nanometer. Let us now understand what a process node or a technology node which is measured in nanometer means and why is it so important to discuss about these. Have you ever wondered why the mobiles or laptops we used 10 years ago were so different from what we use now? Devices and gadgets have evolved significantly. We have moved from simple to smart. What made this possible? The shrinking of technology nodes has enabled modern devices to do much more in smaller, efficient and compact designs. As we discussed, electronic devices are made of processors which consists of tiny nanoscopic transistors that control the flow of current and perform logical functions. A technology node or process node refers to the smallest feature size, that is, the smallest element in a transistor in the manufacturing process. Historically, it would refer to the metal half pitch or the channel length between the source and the drain in the field effect transistor. For example, a 25 nanometer process technology node implies that the minimum feature size in the manufacturing process is 25 nanometer. Modern day technology nodes can indicate how closely transistors can be packed in that technology or what we call transistor density. Increased transistor density leads to enhanced functionality and better performance. Technology Node Rapid development in the semiconductor industry has significantly impacted various sectors like automobile, defense, electronics, agriculture, etc. With these developments and increasing demands, downscaling of technology node has become essential. Scaling of the conventional planar MOSFET design raised concerns about short channel effects and increased sub-threshold leakages. It was until in 2012 and the 22 nanometer process node when the technology shifted to FinFET architectures that helped to control the short channel behavior and reduce sub-threshold leakages. And now, with further scaling up to 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer, FinFETs are also facing its challenges, which leads to an evolutionary development from FinFET to get all around field effect transistors. Gate all around nanosheets are vertically stacked sheets offering gate on all sides of the channels that allow high drive current, better speed 
and reduced leakage. This technology can be scaled to fit specific performance requirements by adding sheets vertically unlike FinFets which require numerous fins added laterally for more current. So no additional area is required for improved speed. There has been a progress from 10 micrometer technology node in 1971 to the recent capabilities of producing 3 nanometer chips implementing the gate all around nano sheets MBC fits. But wait, we have a question here. Amidst the demand for a new applications like AI, 5G, Internet of Things, automobile, smart computing, etc., have we reached the semiconductor limits of Moore's law? And what next? Introduction to 3DIC. Let us understand this with an example. Consider the example of a city planning. Initially, designs featured large and spacious houses. But with increasing population density, designers evolved to design compact housing structures, allowing more houses to build within the same area. However, even these designs struggled to accommodate the increasing population density and demand for versatile features like schools, colleges, malls, etc. leading to a shortage of open space. What could be the possible solution in this case? The solution is a multi-story building that is stacking. The evolution of semiconductor industry has been no different. For years, Moore's law which describes the growth in the transistor density on the chips has continuously driven the IC industry. With technology node evolution, we can achieve increased transistor density and better speed, but this leads to large SOCs, complex and expensive designs, and the fundamental limits to Moore's law are approaching. As advanced circuits expand their functionalities like AI, Internet of Things and 5G, the integration of multifunctional blocks requires more area and large interconnects, affecting the speed and energy consumption. For chips to expand in size continuously while allowing the heterogeneous integration of multifunctional circuits with less power and high speed benefits, designers have come up with the 3D IC technology. 3D ICs are developed by stacking chips vertically. In the upcoming sections, we will study the need for 3D IC and the 3D IC design structure. Need for 3D IC. We just discussed how size is one of the limitations of SOC designs as we have limited area available on the chip. With 3D monolithic integration, circuit miniaturization is achievable as dies are stacked vertically. 3D architecture helps to reduce interconnect length. Vertical stacking minimizes the interconnection length between dies that interface with one another, which helps to reduce power consumption while simultaneously providing high speed with faster interactions. Stacking memories vertically on the top of the processor increases the bandwidth. Heterogeneous integration allows the flexibility to integrate different process technologies and functionalities on a single chip with efficient use of space. 3DIC allows chiplet integration. Chiplets are SOCs split into smaller units and different package technologies are used for their integration. Time to market can be better for 3DIC as compared to the traditional 2D approach where all the components are integrated on a single chip and requires process node advancements for all chips. 3D IC allows integration of different process nodes and reusability which can save cost as well. 3D IC design In a 3D IC technology, different dies on multiple semiconductor chiplets are placed in two ways, either 2.5D 
where dies are placed close to each other on an interposer second approach is 3d that is vertically on top of each other the dies are integrated on the substrate using silicon interposers it provides a connection among dies and the input output ports the interconnection between stacked dies is done using through silicon vias which can penetrate to the substrate layer and provide a connection between the layers the silicon interposer is connected to the package substrate using c4 bumps as shown in the figure the dies are connected to each other through micro bumps redistribution layers these provide a horizontal pathway and connect the dies to each other through silicon via connections it reduce the interconnect length and lower the parasitic capacitance providing a better performance and lower power consumption thermal challenges by now we understand how we are making the chips smaller to increase the transistor density and further moving towards 3d architecture to allow heterogeneity however concerns about efficiency and reliability are emerging as they pose challenges from a thermal perspective technology node shrinking makes it more difficult for heat to dissipate and increases the temperature which can cause mechanical stress this can get worse in complex 3d ic structures where the varied material used for the different heterogeneous integration will have different coefficients of thermal expansion this can further cause thermal and mechanical stress challenges therefore it is important to consider thermal management as the complexity of the design increases joule heating before we move to the thermal effects on power integrity let's first revisit the basics of joule heating we have noticed that if we continuously use our phones laptops or other devices they start heating up why do these devices heat up the devices we use are made of electrical circuits when electricity passes through an electrical circuit it gets heated up due to the flow of electrons that is the electrical energy is converted into heat this heat is produced due to the continuous collision of the electrons flowing through the material this process is known as joule heating the lighting of a bulb is a perfect example of how flowing electricity causes the filament to heat and the bulb to glow the mathematical formula for heating is h is equal to i square rt where h is the heat produced in joules i is the current in amperes r is the resistance in current carrying conductor and t is the time for which the current flows in the material as a result of joule heating the overall temperature of the circuit increases thermal effects on power integrity let us now discuss the thermal effects on power integrity the power delivery network consists of electrical interconnects the thermal integrity of the system may be impacted by the electrical interconnects in the power delivery network due to the heat produced by the resistance this can further impact the power integrity and reliability of the system calculation of current density is based on em limits that is to prevent em induced degradation maximum allowable current density calculation is done using formulas taking em limit into account and making necessary adjustments this is done considering the uniform distribution of temperature self heating effects and thermal coupling in wires need to be considered to improve reliability issues in hot spots it adjusts the current density limits and wire width providing a thermal aware em analysis 
the thermal temperature increase can also significantly affect the air drop of the system due to the temperature rise the resistivity of the material increases higher resistivity increases the interconnect resistance of the wires therefore increasing the ir drops of the network this is why we usually see cooling methods being integrated into electronic systems to maintain the temperature which is essential for a well functioning system with complex systems a variety of multi physics challenges such as thermal electro migration and mechanical stress and strain arise these challenges must be addressed which is crucial for a successful design and implementation we require designs that are powerful efficient high performance high speed and reliable ansys redox ac electrothermal features multi physics power integrity signal integrity thermal integrity and mechanical stress simulation and analysis for 2.5d and 3d multi die systems